suppose a young man, me and a few friends, decide to play a prank on a guy named Arthur. We told Arthur that the cemetery outside of town was haunted, that a deformed ghost roamed among the older graves. We told Arthur we wanted to see if it was true. He agreed to come along. What we didn't tell Arthur was that our friend Billy would go to the cemetery ahead of time, hide out there, then deviously impersonate the deformed ghost, scaring the daylights out of an unsuspecting Arthur. That night, when we arrived at the cemetery, it was eerie. We had to walk through thick mist that lingered among the creepy tombstones. When we approached the section where Billy agreed to hide, we let Arthur take the lead while the rest of us dropped back. We watched from a distance as a hideous figure emerged from the fog and lumbered toward Arthur. It was as frightening a sight as any of us had ever seen. We were shocked that Billy could impersonate a ghoul so magnificently. Arthur froze for a few seconds and then ran toward us, like his life depended on it. By the time Arthur got to us, he was petrified. He was so pale and overcome with fright, we had to help him back to the car. We sped away and headed back to town. No one said a word. Arthur, too shaken to speak, the rest of us too guilty about what we had done to Arthur. Just outside of town, we saw a man walking along the side of the dark road. As our headlights hit the back of his head, he stopped and turned toward the light. It was Billy, but how? We'd been driving for miles and we left right away. We immediately stopped the car. Billy jumped in and explained that he had gotten spooked waiting in the cemetery alone and had decided to leave and walk back to town an hour ago.